Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday, January 19th, I think. Might be the 20th, I'm not quite sure. Yes, there's boxes in the background because I'm working on getting packed so I can move. Yes, it's the 19th, 2020. So I'm sitting in my living room because <clears throat> my furnace on Friday, the computer board decided to go. And yes, that's bird food on the floor because it doesn't matter how many times I sweep, my bird likes to throw food on the floor. It's something it does. It's a cockatoo. And if anybody has a cockatoo, they truly understand. So anyway, this kind of got me started thinking. Thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, I have this little electric fireplace for backup. But what? <laughs> Stop. But what if I didn't have this? I mean, I'm using my oven. Like, I, I have a pretty long house. So I'm in the living room, which is the front of the house, and the oven is in the kitchen, which is in the back of the house, and there's quite a big, like, there's a dining room in between and a little bit of a hallway. So it's been actually getting, today I got it up to 61 degrees in here. We had a snowstorm yesterday, um, which I guess is helping insulate a little bit. Uh, yesterday I got it up to 59, I woke up, it was 57, so I'm relying on my oven and I'm relying on this little electric heater here that's been running non-stop and oh, I don't want to see the bill when I get it, but because it's a holiday weekend, that's my, uh, planter, because it's a holiday weekend, um, there, there's nobody available to take care of this. So I've been without heat since Friday uh, morning. Yeah, Friday morning. I keep my heat on like 67, relatively cool. And, um, you know, during the day and at night, at night I drop it down to 64. Uh, so I'm kind of used to it being cool, but 57, deg 57 degrees in the house is quite chilly. Um, so yeah, I have to think of a, another backup, like I'm trying to, you know, you know, I have fibromyalgia, so I'm trying to pack slowly because I'm going to move soon. Um, the house is going up for sale in June and long story short, I won't, probably won't be able to stay here. Um, stop it. So, cause I rent. Um, what I'd like to do is buy my own house and if, when I do, I'm going to make sure it has a fireplace or a, um, wood burning stove. But what if people, what if I didn't have electricity besides not having the furnace, you know, or like if the furnace, if the electricity goes out, the furnace wouldn't work. So, and I wouldn't even have my little, uh fireplace here to rely on. I'd have to light my oven with a spaghetti because I don't have any long matches, but I, they, that's the only way you could get it lit because that's an electric ignite as well. So I'd be freezing. So I need to come up with some other kind of backup plan for a while I'm renting. I'm thinking maybe of investing in a kerosene heater. I'm not really... Mm, uh, sure about the safety of them, but you know, Hey, you, you got to do what you got to do. Right. So <laughs> that was this week, <laughs> the week before I had like a whole bunch of appointments that week. And, um, Tuesday night when I was washing my dishes and I shut my f water off, it wouldn't stop running. <laughs> so that required the plumber and this requires a heating person. So, and they won't, like I said, they won't get it. They won't have it until Tuesday. Stop. Because it's a holiday weekend. Sorry about the bird. Anyway, I plan on bringing you... Stop it! Sorry for yelling. <laughs> I plan on bringing you back 
Um, I want to do a couple pudding videos because um, pudding is really easy. And, you know, it's just milk, cornstarch, sugar, and um, your flavorings. And I think butter. It's been a long time since I made pudding, so. But I make um, uh, tapioca quite often because it's just easy. Um, also, I made the, like, most awesome, I'm going to call it a superfood ramen dish that I'll bring to you. I made that today. I'll bring that to you probably this week, I hope. Anyway, that's after the plumber and the heating gets here so I don't have to stand in front of my oven and get hot <laughs> while the rest of the house is 61 degrees. Anyway, I'm sorry about the bird. It is what it is. This is what I live with for, and this is what I have lived with for 32 years. Did I mention that? Yes. That is bird food on the floor. It likes to throw bird food out. Anyway, have a great night and I hope to talk to everyone soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. Think of some ideas about uh, heating for me. Bye.